Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using the Zueva Spice of Life Kit. So we have the Graphic Lips and Deep Thoughts. We have the Pure Velour Lips and the Outsider. Mm-hmm. It creates a vampy look. And we also have the Spice of Life Highlighter. We're going to talk about both colors on the cheeks. I did use both. And then we are going to talk about the Spice of Life Eyeshadow Palette which is what I have on right now. All right, so my initial thoughts on this palette is that I like it. I like Zoeva products. I think they do a good job. When I tilt my head back to see where my patchiness is on my eyeshadow, I really don't have any patchiness, which is fantastic for me when I'm using new products or eyeshadow products. I cannot stand patchiness. Then as far as the highlighter goes, I love the fact that they give two different highlighters in two different colors that one is a lot brighter than the other. So you kind of have the best of both worlds with the highlighter palette. The lip, the lip liner and the lip, the velour lip, matches amazing so as far as the colors go they are spot on the lip liner with the lip the velour lipstick so perfect there the lip isn't 100 percent you know kiss proof so just be aware of that and i just yeah i really like zoeva's products overall i've had this for a while so i feel really bad that i'm just now getting around to it but you're gonna get a chance to see this look that I put together today. I've been awfully chatty trying to catch you guys up because I've kind of been a little MIA, a lot MIA. I've just had an absolute ton on my plate. So this is a little bit more of a chatty video. I do apologize for that in advance, but you'll actually understand why I'm a little crazy. That's just part of my charm or my irritation to other people whichever it is, whichever it is. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump into this video. I hope you like it. Please put any comments, thoughts, questions, etc. below. All right, here we go. Down that blush, whoo, love. So I got a little crazy. Not that that toned it down a lot. Okay, so like I have not filmed in months and I already had, sometimes I like to film a lot of stuff ahead of time so that I don't have to worry about my life's crazy schedule and the, I guess basically that's what I did and then life's crazy schedule took over and I just haven't had a chance to film in a while so I thought I might do a chatty version because you guys could see that I was releasing like one every three days or three a week one every three days anyways do now maybe once a week maybe not at all so it's just been a little bit of a crazy crazy last few months gonna get you caught up as we use these different products today i love the zoeva packages i think these are absolutely cute so we have the spice of life eyeshadow the highlighter the absolutely vampy lip and absolutely vampy uh, lip liner. So we're going to start out with the vampy lips because I think if I go too dark on the eyes, then when I do the lips, it's going to freak me out. <laughs> so we're just going to, we're just going to start there. This lip liner, uh, it's graphic lips and deep thoughts. Mm. So if you don't think vampy, you may think winery. This typically looks like a very wine purplish color. We're gonna go ahead and add the lip next. And it is the Pure Velour Lips. This is in the color of the Outsiders. So this is like, I almost feel like I could put on eyelashes and just be done. We may tone down the lip a little bit because my skin is so pale that this might be a little bit too much for me. But we're gonna go ahead and play with the eyes a little bit and see where we go from there. I did go ahead and put on a, you know what I'm gonna say, contour and blush to get us started. And now we're gonna dip into the Spice of Life highlighter palette. I love their packaging. I just think this is so pretty. 
And the Spice of Life comes in Sweet Relief or Simply Delicious. Fun. Just for fun. We are going to do Sinfully Delicious right here. So Sinfully Delicious is going to go more in with my blush, which is really pretty. Kind of blends in really nice, gives kind of that really pretty highlight. Let's see what Sweet Relief does on the other so side. So Sweet Relief is going to pack a bit more of a punch from what I can see. So this one blended in really nice with the blush. This one's going to stand out a little bit more. So I do like the both of those. So if you want to dot the tip of your nose like I see some ladies do, or go down the bridge of your nose, I think the Sweet Relief is probably going to be a little bit better for those. If you're looking for a highlighter that is just a little bit less in your face for the workday, I definitely would use Sinfully Delicious. I also find it interesting we've got a very purple vampy lip with this highlighter here. So kind of excited about what might be possible with the eyes and that. But I do like their highlighters. They're not overly creamy, but they're not dry. They just kind of go on really now nice. Now we're going to get into the Spice of Life I have palette. used this a couple times already, just playing around with it, and just enjoyed this palette. So it does look very spicy, something that you would see in your cabinet as far as the, the spice goes. I particularly like this palette because it is... If you're not sure how to mix your colors for the day, if you're going to do pinks or blues or grays, and you just need to pick up a palette and run out the, you know, kind of do your eyes to run out the door, this is going to be one of those palettes because it's neutral and friendly. Again, really like this palette. I still am finding the lip color interesting with the, the highlighter. Maybe once it's all together, it won't be as interesting as Work has been my normal job, my eight to five job, absolutely off the hook crazy. So many changes that you just, coming to work, I just never know what I'm gonna get into. Uh, we've done regional changes, realignments, so my sales team has changed this year, I've rebuilt or in the process of rebuilding my sales team, still trying to make goals, etc. That in itself is crazy, but the mortgage business is what it is. It's always crazy. It's either feast or famine. You just have too much going on or not enough going on. Then amongst all that, we mentioned, or the, our, the company I represent mentioned a merger of equals, and that is taking holy mackerel. So it's going to be an off the hook merger and one of the biggest the industry has seen in a while. So a lot of noise at work. Um, to me, all good, but a lot of change in a small period of time and just knowing more change is coming, I've got to lead through it. So that, that's been, it's, I've been busy. I've been busy. All right. I think we're going to start with of the favor. So then I also am um, co-guardians for my grandmother's uh, well-being. We've had some things personally that um, we're not going to dig deep into. But um, I also don't wish on my worst enemy for what we've uh, had to do to protect her. And you know that's that in itself is uh, can be very difficult and been tough I'll be honest with you we're gonna pick up a nuance we're gonna highlight that up underneath the brow bone although I wouldn't change my time with um, this situation for anything because we're doing what's right on behalf of her and that's all that matters but her health has been up and down over this last year and the last um, month or so it's really been up and down because 
of what happened to her. I'm going to pick up Share Joy next. So that has, um, I've traveled, I've done some traveling for that. I've got some more traveling I, I need to do for that over this next uh, year. And just not, you know, when you have a loved one that health is all over the place, up and down, and you don't know from day to day if they're rebounding because we had such a positive rebound with her. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. So it that in itself was fantastic to watch her come back and absolute gift. And then she she's had kind of a turn for for the worst. So just kind of been dealing with that and it's been really hard because again, trying to stay next to someone you love to try to keep them healthy and always working with the doctors. It's a lot. And you can hear my husband in the background. There's going to be like six to nine more sneezes. He's off the hook when he sneezes. Let's try uh, surprises of life next. So that that takes up some free, that takes up a lot of my free time because that's a daily, you know, kind of a daily job is, you know, as far as that piece goes, guardianship. The other thing that's been crazy is, I guess it kind of came out of a long period of being, oh, being depressed really in a nutshell. I mean, I come home and climb in bed and stay there till it was time to go to work the next day and do what I needed to do. And I decided to get my house in order. And when I say my house in order, I'm one that I like things to look a certain way or, or to, I don't know, I guess I've always enjoyed, you know, those decorating magazines. Not that I ever pull it off myself, but I love looking at that stuff. Pinterest, another favorite. And I just kept looking around this house that we bought in Texas and just, I realized I was frustrated with it. So when we were in Georgia, my husband built us a beautiful house. It's called Kaser Castle. He's still going. And I love that house. Absolutely love the house because we built it the way we wanted it. We made the changes we needed to, etc., to have it the house basically exactly like we wanted it. How many people can say they actually have a house? that is exactly how they like it. And when we came to Texas, my husband was still in Georgia for the first 10 months. So he was looking at properties from afar and I was, he was traveling back and forth. I was traveling back and forth. So that was pretty crazy. We bought, we couldn't find a house that like fit or was even anywhere close to what we had in Georgia. Totally frustrating for me. Because again, my husband had built us the perfect house. I'm going to take the color unlike any other. We, so we buy this house here and it really wasn't too, too long after we tried to get settled here before all the craziness with my grandmother started happening. And I just kind of, while I've enjoyed the house, I really haven't done anything to the house. And there are some things here at the house that drives me insane. So what I decided to do was all these little projects I had planned on doing and I started doing. I wanted to repaint furniture, whatever, um, for some antique pieces. I wanted to get those kind of a little bit up to date. So I started doing that. We're gonna take the color Fortuitous Moments. Then after I started doing that, I was like, well, I hate the guest bathroom and we're gonna have a lot of guests this coming up in the next few months. I fix the guest bathroom. Then I was like, well, I hate the main guest bedroom. It's just not doing it for me. And I don't want our guests to be in an, a space that isn't pretty. So I decided to redo the guest bedroom. Then as I walk towards the kitchen, I hated the dining room. So I redid the dining room. Then I get in the kitchen and the kitchen, I love the kitchen's concept. I hated the color, it was green. It was this ugly green. Greens are hard. I know greens are a very hard color, but it was ugly with these white cabinets. But the white on the cabinets aren't really white. They almost look like they, it has a yellow undertone. So it's always looking dirty. Brady is the key is next. So they always, always look dirty. And that's, we come through the mud room or the laundry room from the garage to come into the house. And that's the first thing I see is this god awful green on the walls and these like yellowish, whitish colored painted cabinets. Not my thing. Well, I started on the kitchen and I've got it repainted. I've picked out finally the color for the cabinets. So the cabinets will get done before my next set of guests come in town. 
that's the goal. So a lot of my time is either at work, taking care of my grandmother, or on the weekends, redoing the house. I will say the house, the areas that I've redone have given me peace. Like, I don't walk through the house irritated and not knowing why I'm irritated, and it's because the colors drive me insane. So now my stress level at home has come way down because, oh my gosh, I'm actually getting the house to look more like what I like and less like what we bought from someone else. I'm now going to use the Makeup Geek eyeliner. This is, it just says brown eyeliner. These new eyeliners from Makeup Geek, love them. So I bought several colors, and I'm going on a rabbit trail. I bought several colors and I use a lot of brown because my skin is so white. Sometimes black just looks too harsh and I can't put this baby down. Like I, I just keep using it over and over again. Love this eyeliner. Okay, so back to the house. So then we had, I, I had hoped to have the kitchen totally done before mama, I, we call her mama Cornell, came in for Mother's Day and that didn't quite get done. But we had a great, great Mother's Day weekend with her. She did, she didn't know that those cabinet, color, that cabinet, those, blah, 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 blah. the kitchen cabinets drive me absolutely insane. And we just had a really good Mother's Day weekend. Nice and relaxing, full of laughter, just had a great time. And it was just fantastic to reconnect with Cornell and her daughter, Michelle came over also for the weekend and just kind of chill out, watch movies, eat, try some new wines, etc. My next set of guests come for, I think it might even be next weekend. So I need to kind of hustle. Not sure for sure if I'll get all the cabinets done but before then, but my son from, I call him my son. I really have no kids of my own, but my son from Kansas City is coming up gonna spend the weekend with us and along with my cousin's girlfriend who's stationed out here in Texas. So we're gonna have a nice family kind of just Memorial Day weekend. So very looking totally, totally forward to that. I think I'm gonna take the surprise of life. Let's use that for underneath the lower lashes. I don't know if that quite did what I wanted it to. So we're gonna take the Makeup Geek Eyeliner and maybe darken up that eyelash line. I think that color might have been a little bit too red. And then in um, June, mid-June, my sister's coming from California. So we'll have her, my brother-in-law, and my little nephew. He's so stinking cute. Very, very excited about having them out. So just kind of in a busy year. Now you can see why I haven't done a whole lot of filming. Because I'll be honest, when I do my projects around my house, or sometimes just weekends in general, I don't wear makeup. I don't do my hair. Well, my hair is mostly done in a sumo wrestling bun, which is always very attractive, by the way. And if I match for a project, especially a painting one, it's on accident, I can promise you. Because I know that I'm gonna end up with paint somewhere on my clothes. Although my husband was teasing me, he said, I don't know how you have such a bad shake in your hand, yet you can cut in paint like nobody's business, which I always have, depending on my level of stress, how bad my, the shake in my hand goes. But he's right. I went behind him as he was looking at my painting job because I typically don't need to tape off anything when I paint because I can paint a straight line. And he was like, I just don't understand. How do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> he doesn't have a shake to his hand. He can't paint a straight line like I do. Now my last project in this house will be our bathroom. That bathroom is so 1980s. It, yeah, it's just a hot mess. And then our pipe busted up underneath our foundation. So they had to drill down through our tile to fix this busted water pipe. Well, the problem with that was the water went into our master closet. Actually, it kind of went to three different closets in all honesty and ruined the flooring, the wood flooring in each of those closets. So when I walk into the bathroom, all I can see is where the hole was done. They did put concrete back and this 1980s bathroom and like for the life of me, as much as I've looked online to get inspirations for that bathroom, 
I think I'm just gonna have to rip down all, strip the whole bathroom of everything I cannot stand at this point. Get a good, just kind of white uh, background with paint before I decide what colors and stuff I wanna do. And maybe that'll help my creativity when I pull away all the stuff that is absolutely driving me insane so that I can get my creativity back because man, my creativity in that bathroom is stunning. I just have too much I wanna get done before she gets here because she knows my house in Georgia. She's not coming to see my house. I get that. She's coming to hang out with us, but I just don't want to have this ugly house to have my friends and family in. All right, next we're gonna use uh, Makeup Geek's eyebrow pencils. So you, there's two different ones. There's a pencil and then there's one that's more of a, like a cream roll-up base. So you kind of can use either one depending on what you like to use. And these things just go on super easy. The color I used is medium brown. Okay, so we finished kind of the look using the Zoeva Spice Alive. My eyelashes aren't off the hook today because again, it's Saturday, I'm at home. But I think the Spice Alive palette, it blends really well. As I tilt my head back, I didn't have to do a lot of blending. It's not patchy, it just goes on well. So if you like these colors, and I would say this palette is for you, definitely. I'm kind of curious what your thoughts are about the lip. At least my teeth look white next to it, so that's fine. Yeah, so give me your thoughts and any questions, thoughts, etc. below on this palette, but I do like the palette. I just wish the lip in this kit was a lot lighter but that's okay because i've got some other stuff i can put right on top and be good to go all right y'all i hope you guys have a great day and i look forward to talking to you soon until next time